Hi students, today's lesson is going to be on powers and exponents and you're going to be able to write and find the value of expressions with powers. First thing you want to do is you're going to watch the video Lily Pad Escape. All right, and then you're going to come back and we're going to fill out this table. Welcome back. All right, so let's finish this table from the video that you just watched in Lily Pad Escape. So you have a number of doublings with the lily pads. So when you had... Um, one lily pad and then you had one doubling you're going to have two and then you have two doublings you're going to have four and on the third double how many lily pads do they have they had eight because you're doubling four and you're going to have eight when you have a next doubling you're going to double eight and you're going to give you eight plus eight is 16 or eight times two is 16. another double would be 32 from adding 16 twice or multiplying two to 16. And then another double would be 64, and the last double is 128. Now let's write these in exponential forms. So number of lily pads, write in exponential form. So 2 to the 0 is 1. 2 to the first is 2, because you're saying that you are multiplying 2 one time. 2 to the second means you're multiplying 2 two times, So 2 times 2 is 4. 2 to the third, notice that our exponents are coming from the number of doublings now. Um, this means 2 times 2 times 2. So 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. Our next exponential form is 2 to the fourth. That means you're multiplying 2 four times. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. When you multiply those out, you get 16. Now this would be what? 2 to the 5th, because that's our, this, these are where we're getting our exponents from. And then you're going to have 2 to the 6th, if you notice the pattern. And then 2 to the 7th. Okay, so that's all this means is you're multiplying the 2's this many times. It doesn't mean 2 times 7. 2 times 7 is not 128. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So if you're writing it out, it's going to be 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So you're multiplying 2 7 times. All right, let's take this um, concept of exponents and powers into the next slide. A power is an expression such that, such as x to the a that contains two parts, the base, which is this number over here, and the exponent or power, the exponent, the small number over there, okay? That's your exponent. A base is a number being multiplied times itself. Just like we had in the lily pad, in the lily pad, our base was what? You go back, our base was two, because that's what you're multiplying by itself. You multiply in times by itself. The exponent tells you how many times you multiply the base times itself. So if you're looking at the lily pad again, 2 to the 4th means that you're multiplying 2, the base, 4 times. That's your exponent. It's not 2 times 4 again. 2 times 4 is not 16. But 2, multi two times 2 times 2 times 2, that's 16. Okay? So let's label. Okay, this entire thing over here is our power. B is your base. And that N is your exponent. Okay? So write the expression as a power. So, what number is going to be your base over here? Your base is going to be the number that you're multiplying you're multiplying repeatedly by itself. So that over here is six. That's your base. Remember, these are your bases. And these number over here are your exponents. And the exponents, when you go back and look at the definition for that, is tells you how many times you're multiplying the base times itself. So over here, how many times are you multiplying six by itself? One, Two, one, two, three, four, five. This is going to be five. How about you pause the video here and determine 
um, these two over here. All right, welcome back. Let's get to see if your answers are correct. So base is your five because that's the number that's being multiplied itself. And you're multiplying five, one, two, three, four times. Over here in the pink one, your base is going to be one half. And you're allowed to have fractions for bases. That's totally fine. And the exponent for that would be one, two, three. Okay. Use the following example to answer the questions. So you have this number over here. What is your base? What's your base over here? Your base is the large number that you're that's being multiplied by itself. So it's going to be four. What is the exponent? That's your super, that's your that's right here. And that's going to be two. What is the relationship between the base and the exponent? Okay. The base. Let's write it another way. The exponent. tells you how many times you are multiplying the base by itself. What is the expanded form? So that means like how many times are you multiplying the base by? The expanded form would be four times four. What is the final answer? Well, it's four times four. That's 16. Well, let's do another problem. So over here, what is the base? Base is seven. Your exponent is three. What is the relation between the base and the exponent? You are multiplying, whoops, it's really ugly. Seven, three times. Seven, three times. I'm gonna use three the word here, three times. So that means expanded form is going to be 7 times 7 times 7. 7 times 7 is 49 times another 7. And you can use your calculator for this. 4 times another 7 is 343. Okay, don't get into the hang-up of doing 7 times 3. 7 to the third power is not 21. So make sure you do expanded form for a while, okay? The zero exponent, anytime the exponent is zero, the answer is one, and this is an always thing, okay? So three to the zero power is one, one half to the zero power is also one, and a negative two to the zero power is one. They're always going to be one, okay? When we did the lily pad, let's go back to the lily pad over here. The number of doublings is zero. So the number of lily pads is one. So you're starting off with one, or even if it's two, you don't have any doublings or any exponent yet. So it's just gonna start off with like, the answer is just gonna be one, okay, every single time. So now these are your, we're done with our notes. These are your you try problems. Do this slide and the next slide um, on your own. Thanks for joining me guys, bye.